hello guys hope you are doing good in this video we are going to run jenkins inside docker container so first of all we need to go to docker hub and find the jenkins official image so let's go to docker hub Now let's search for uh, first of all uh, login to your docker hub account If you don't have Docker Hub account, you can click on sign up and create your free account. Now search for uh, Jenkins. Here is the official image of uh, Jenkins. Let's open it. Here you can find the uh, docker command to pull the Jenkins image. Copy this command. Now let's check the status of uh, docker. Docker is running. Now let's execute this command to pull Jenkins image from Docker Hub. You must need to uh, define the complete name uh, of the Jenkins image like uh, you need to add slash Jenkins to the command because uh, it's the uh, main account of Jenkins then slash the image name of Jenkins. If you click on view available tags, here you can find the uh, different releases of Jenkins like uh, Jenkins colon 2.60. If you are going to deploy any specific version of Jenkins, you can use these commands to pull the Jenkins image. Now the Jenkins image has been uh, pulled from Docker Hub. Now let's the local images. Here you can find the Jenkins image on the top of the list. Now we simply need to run this image uh, with few parameters. Let's run the Jenkins uh, container using this command docker run minus p. We need to define the uh, port uh, required to expose the Jenkins service. Let's suppose uh, I am going to use 9080 for my machine and uh, uh, next port is the Jenkins default containers port. So kindly do not change this, it will remain 8080. 
uh, if you are going to expose Jenkins on 9080 you can use 9080 you can use 8080 as well if uh, 8080 is free on your local machine so after this we are going to add the switch minus D to run the container in background and after this we are going to uh, mount the Jenkins volume on your local machine so Jenkins uh, by default stores the data in slash war slash Jenkins underscore home it's the uh, path of your machines volume so it's better to create this directory first so let's create this directory to uh, store the containers data in case you restart the container your data will remain safe at this path so uh, the directory already exists then you need to uh, allow the permissions to uh, this directory because uh, docker's user uh, docker user will write uh, the containers data at this path so it's better to allow triple seven permissions use minus r switch for recursive so let's ls this directory it's currently empty so let's start again from here uh, it's the uh, destination path of your machines volume and uh, it's the source path of your Jenkins container so let's execute this command uh, sorry at the end you need to define the Jenkins image you pulled in previous step now the container has been started so uh, let's ls the containers docker container ls uh, you can see the Jenkins container has been started now go to war Jenkins home and ls now you can see the Jenkins data stored in this directory so if you want to see the logs uh, you can uh, first find out the container id now copy this container id docker logs minus f use the container id it will show you the logs and you can find the initial password from this log file and uh, initial password also stored in this file so let's copy the initial password from here and uh, press the ctrl c to exit, exit from uh, tail command now let's open the Jenkins let's find out the machines IP using this command here is the uh, machines local IP copy it to the browser and uh, type the port you configured and press enter so use that password initial password here and uh, click on continue button so, uh, sorry i have copied the ip address again open the logs and uh, copy this password 
use this password here and click on continue button you can see the Jenkins uh, has been started uh, click on install suggested plugins it will take few minutes to uh, install those plugins now guys the Jenkins is up now you can use it whatever you are going to deploy the services uh, you are going to deploy any pipeline you can further follow our channel and you can find configurations guide from our channel if you don't know how to use and configure Jenkins you can uh, find uh, other tutorials related to Jenkins in our channel thanks for watching this video and uh, kindly hit on subscribe button and follow us for further related information informative videos take care goodbye